we know we have to take stronger action to help protect the health system. As Manitoba's health care system continues to buckle, the province banning all gatherings for another two weeks. Officials extending all current orders until June 12th and adding a few more. Malls to crack down on capacity limits and evict people who are gathering. So there's going to be that burden. We, we, when we have that uh, one person per household rule, that's, that's what's meant. Uh, there's, of course, few exceptions for that. The province also requiring employers to allow employees to work from home, if possible, but didn't specify how they'd check up on it. It's certainly capable of being enforced, and so that's our message. The province not closing retail stores, but they will shut down any workplace where they see transmission. Uh, we certainly see uh, uh, transmission uh, occur there. We, we see it uh, probably more so in what would be termed the, the essential businesses, businesses that wouldn't uh, be closed if we close those essential businesses or non-essential businesses that are already at that 10% capacity. So uh, we, we find that this, this targeted approach um, is going to... Um, uh, will result in, in some businesses being uh, being closed uh, as well. The restrictions fall short of the stay-at-home order frontline doctors called for earlier this week. Why aren't you listening to frontline doctors? When we need help, we ask for it, and we're getting it from Ontario right now. We also need help from Manitobans to abide by the public health orders, which are extremely stringent and hard for people but they are needed to be followed for us to get out of this COVID third wave. So what's on the horizon? The prospect of Manitoban salvaging some summer? I'm not going to be Pollyanna here. We're in the middle of a real serious challenge for our people, all of us. And uh, everything we can do to follow those restrictions and get vaccinated as soon as possible and stay safe is really going to help us. Uh, there's hope in the window, and we'll outline some of that next uh, next few days. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.